Welcome everybody to Roseville Story Time. We've got a really big story for you, an enormous story, but I just need another minute. I'm still trying to figure out the last character. Oh, um, and the giant. Andrew. The giant. Need help? Oh no! Don't tell me you're here to change the story on me again, are you? Nope. I just like the giant. Oh, did you hear me practicing earlier? And you, or maybe you heard me mumbling about needing a giant? Uh, yeah, he did hear about the giant problem, and he has you covered. Look under the table. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that, that's really horrifying. I know. Oh boy. Okay, well, I guess we've got a giant. Um, let me introduce you to David. Hello, I'm David. I'm a shepherd, and I like to play the harp, and I like to sing songs, and worship God, and get to know God better, and all that jazz. Oh yeah, the prophet Samuel had come looking for the next king. All of David's brothers were big and strong, but God told Samuel that it was David the youngest and smallest that he wanted as king. That's right. When David uh, was chosen king, God told Samuel, I don't choose people, I don't look at them the way that other people look at them. People look at the outside, but I look at what's in the heart. Whoa, so God saw some things in David's heart that he liked. So did he move into the palace right away? No, he actually went back to look after the sheep. What? Wasn't he supposed to be king? Well, it wasn't his time yet. He was supposed to look after the sheep. And in fact, three of his brothers, his older brothers, went off to war. And David was like, go ahead, guys. I'll keep looking after the sheep. Wait, war? What war? Well, you see, the Philistines were the enemies of the Israelites. And they all came to one valley. The Philistines were on one side of the valley. The Israelites were on the other. And the Philistines put out a challenge. They said, if you can beat our best warrior... The battle will be over. You can win. But if we beat your best warrior, then we win. So just one warrior? Why didn't they just send somebody out and get it over with? Well, that's because the Philistines' best warrior was a giant named Goliath. Oh! I'm Goliath. I'm a really good fighter, and I have really good armor. Who's going to take me down? If you can beat me, we'll be your slaves. But if I beat you, you're our slaves. What have you got, Israel? Ooh, he is big. Let me guess. The Israelite soldiers took one look at Goliath, and they were terrified. That's right. Nobody wanted to fight Goliath. But one a day came when Jesse, the father of David, came to David and was like, Hey, David, I need you to take this bread to your brothers on the front lines. And David was like, okay, Dad. Wait, so the future king was a shepherd boy and then little delivery boy? That's right. When he got to the front lines, he heard Goliath teasing the Israelites. And he, and he saw nobody stepping up to fight him. So David said, hey, who is this guy who would... Stand up and defy the armies of God! Did he convince one of his big brothers to go out against Goliath? No, they actually told David to go back to the sheep. He did, however, make his way to King Saul. Hello, King Saul. I'll fight the giant. Oh, you will fight the giant, but you're a pipsqueak. What makes you think you know anything about fighting? Well, you see, sir, when I looked after the sheep, I fought bears and I faced lions, and the Lord God always fought for me, and I know he'll fight for me even now. Wow, I'm inspired. Let's prepare you for battle. Quick, put on my royal armor. But the armor was a little too big. Ah, uh, I think I'm just going to go into battle with my sling. Thank you very much. What? Goliath is going to trump him to bits. No armor, no big weapons, just a little leather sling. This won't end well. Well, he's got five river stones. What? No way. He's not going to win. Goliath is a huge trained warrior. David is going to be minced meat. 
What did Goliath think of Israel's so-called champion? God, you send a child to fight me? What do you think I am? I'm going to crush all of you. He doesn't sound happy. What did David do? Well, David went. He fought against Goliath. He threw a stone at Goliath with his sling, and God took care of the rest. God directed the stone through the air. It hit Goliath right on the forehead. Bing! And the giant came crashing down. Wow, that's awesome. God fought and rescued not only David, but all of Israel. And David didn't have a big important position, like king or leader of the soldiers. He was a young shepherd. What was important was that he knew God and he trusted him. That's right. What David needed to know was who God made him to be. He couldn't go into battle pretending to be Saul by wearing Saul's armor. He had to go into battle trusting in God and trusting in the way God had made him. And remember that God is bigger than whatever we are facing. You can read about David and Goliath in 1 Samuel 17. That's right. Join us next week for more... Earl, we love story time! That's my line!